All right, good morning, everybody. It is a fairly frigid morning here in the Pacific Northwest. Just kind of going through my morning routine here. Cup of coffee. I like to get out here, check out the views, get a little sun on my face, some vitamin D. But yeah, I want to check in with you guys. We're about four and a half weeks out from the Olympia. And I figured it'd be good to do a little day in the life, a little vlogging, get you guys updated on where I'm at, walk you through my daily routine. And this is how it starts every day. Coffee, sunshine, when the sun is shining. And then, uh, yeah, we'll roll into the day. I'm gonna do my fastest cardio here in a little bit. We'll eat a meal, and then we'll head out to the gym. Today is chest day. Gonna train some chest and some triceps. So I'll show you guys a little bit of my training. And yeah, just get you guys caught up on where I'm at as I prepare for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. So I'm gonna enjoy some coffee. Enjoy some sunshine, enjoy these views, and we will catch up here in a minute. Good morning, big guy. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, sweetie. This is phase two of my morning. I've got my book, my coffee, and <laughs> the dog between my legs. This is just how I like to start my morning. I like to spend about 15 minutes reading my book, hanging out, stay off my phone. I usually don't have a camera in my face. I find it to be a very productive way to start my day. And to me, it's an important part of my morning routine. That is cardio done. 40 minutes of fasted cardio. Now it's time for meal one. So we've got some bison here some rice, some eggs. So that's gonna be first meal of the day. Gonna be 200 grams of bison, 150 grams of white rice, and then two whole eggs. That is my favorite meal of the day. All right, well, I had a little camera malfunction, so I wasn't able to show you guys my cooking skills, my battery died, but I'll just show you guys the finished product. Look at this. Red Tabasco gang. I know I've got a lot of Tabasco haters out there. Last time I talked about Tabasco, you guys said I was basic. But in my opinion, breakfast food, red Tabasco on eggs is the way to go. In a box. It's in the box. I think this is the nachos. No. I'm eating, There's watching no other people eat. Just tons of sauce. Something about prep and Eric the Electric. Okay, okay. now that we've gotten our sauces presentable, well, now it's time. Just does the trick for me. Taco Bell sounds pretty damn good. Some cinnamon twist. Crunch wrap supreme. Hmm. A Baja Blast. Plate cleared. Meal one, done. Wave hi. They can't hear you. Yeah, Antoine says hi and welcome to the vlog. Okay, bye. Just finished the podcast with the fellas from HD Muscle. If you guys haven't watched the podcast, go to HD Muscle YouTube, Pure Muscle Radio, Pure BS. Now, it is time to eat. I'm going to grab some of this Mega Fit chicken and this white rice. Gonna do some chicken and rice. Pre-workout staple, 220 grams of chicken breast, 150 grams of white rice, 35 grams of avocado, and I just got the avocado from like the uh, mashed avocado pods and some green beans. So that is the pre-workout meal. Not too bad of a meal, still pretty good size, 150 grams of white rice, a little bit of fats. Still feeling fairly satiated right now, like four and a half weeks out. I think four and a half weeks out from Chicago, these meals were much smaller. So I'm in a good place, body's responsive, feeling good, and performance is in a good place for training. So I'm gonna eat this and then get to the gym. Delicious. Pre-HD Ultra, sour gummies. Use my code Shire10, hdmuscle.com. Best in the biz.
Made it to the gym. Now I'm just hanging out in the car, getting my mind right, finishing my pre-workout, and just listening to a little bit of music and getting ready for the session. Honestly, here, I'll show you guys what I'm listening to. Right now, I'm listening to some Alanis Morissette. Now, I know that's not the most hype gym music, but it's music I really enjoy. Honestly, it's music that I used to listen to with my mom. I guess some of you might not be aware, and I figured I'd fill you guys in. Um, I did lose my mother to esophageal cancer at the end of last year, and it was just before I started my prep for Chicago. So, um, you know, it was really tough, obviously, losing my mother, um, but then I just kind of dove right into a contest prep, and I felt like I struggled to kind of process it and be present, and... Um, here we are rolling into another prep for the Olympia. So it just kind of felt like, you know, I, I have been keeping myself busy from one thing to another since my mom passed last year. And uh, yeah, so I guess listening to this music kind of helps me just feel it a little bit and process it a little bit. And um, for me, it's a good thing just to kind of bring back memories of mom and uh, kind of bring back the good old days when we'd be driving around listening to that music. So yeah, that's what it's all about. All right, it's spooky season here in the gym. This scary fucker.
Okay, so just finishing up with chest. Honestly, guys, that was one fly, two presses, and a dip. In my opinion, you really don't need anything else. I see a lot of people doing three different fly variations, four presses, body weight dips, push ups, all this. It's just not necessary. If you can't get everything you need out of a chest workout, two presses, a fly, and a dip, then I think you need to reassess your effort, your execution, your intensity, something. Because, um, yeah, I just don't think that anything more than that is really beneficial. So, chest is done. Now, you can train some triceps. That is it for training. Now I'm in the posing room. We got the mirrors here, the mirror up here, so we can see our back shots. We're gonna run some posing rounds. Now, what I've been doing, I've been coming in here post workout every session. I actually have an app on my phone, I'll show you guys. It's called Interval Timer. If you look there, it says work 10 seconds, rest five seconds, repeat times 24. So, what that is, is all eight mandatories for three rounds, 10 second holds, five seconds to transition. Now, I've been doing that two times. I'll run it once through, I'll take a break, I'll run it once through again. But now that we're inside of five weeks, I'm gonna do it three times. So I'm not gonna run them back to back. It's like almost six minutes of posing. So I'll just run it, take a break, run the three rounds again, take a break, run the three rounds. And then by the time we get to like one week out. Hopefully they'll have those dialed in. I'll be running three rounds back to back. So that's the goal. That's the not fun part of this. This right here is where the important work happens to make sure we don't get gassed out on stage. And uh, yeah, this is, this is the part that no one really wants to do because it sucks. It's not a lot of fun. But I'm lucky enough to have this beautiful posing room that has all the amenities and it's just about doing the work. So I'm gonna run some quick pros and rounds, and then I'll probably catch you guys back at the house for my post-workout meal. 
All right, that's all you guys are getting. One little sneak peek, all right? That's it. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I was too hungry, so I didn't get to show you guys my post-workout meal. Had some chicken and rice, but now we're here back at the house, relaxing. Jasmine is throwing the ball for the dogs. And we're gonna wrap up our evening here and call it a day. But I appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below if you want more videos like this. Let me know what you wanna see from me. And we will catch you guys on the next one. And hope you enjoy some, uh, some dogs running and frolicking about. All right, thanks for watching everybody.